Hello everyone, this is December 5th, 2020, and I, uh, on Thursday night, sold some of my uh, copper items to benefit Kent and his puppy owns and possibly a down payment for a car. There were quite a few of us there. Coming on now though to show something that uh, I was so motivated that you all actually bought stuff that I had made that I had made some of these strips if you can see that it stamped my initials on there if I can quit there we go and the idea behind it was I was going to try to hand bend these without an anvil or a bracelet mandrel. And they didn't look too good Thursday night. But because I was motivated, I bought myself some early Christmas gifts I probably won't be doing any if not maybe one more auction I may have some pop up here but it's too close to Christmas to guarantee delivery but I made these little uh, bracelets look better by using this little jig here quite a bit cheaper than an anvil or a mandrel probably won't last too long but I didn't pay very much for it either probably sell two of these bracelets and that would be paid for and it did come with a uh, a template which will come in really handy when I start making my uh, bins. Then of course, this was my collaboration. I hate to part with it, but uh, I've written down the dimensions and if I can make those little ones, I can probably make another one. This was in collaboration with uh, Sandy, that's her signature, and of course it says genuine copper. I oh, know this one doesn't, but I know it's copper. All right, now I'll come back to this, but in the meantime, I'll show you some of my new toys. This is soldering screen. These are the legs for the tray pod, tripod, tray pod. And then this, and the advantage of this is these sit up like that. This sits on top, because sometimes when you're having trouble soldering, you actually need to step away and then if you've got too much solder on the project, heated up from up above not so much from the top but you start out at the top so we got my propane got my little propane gun I've got a bigger nozzle <clears throat> I've got my solder I've got my metal so I'm good to go on that And because some wanted this to be engraved and if it gets too hard and I can't stamp it, which the more you work metal, especially copper, the harder it gets. So these were not exactly what I had hoped. I'd hope I'd have different sizes, but I'll find a use for them.
And so I got this. This is my battery operated engraver. Couldn't believe I got it overnight. Cordless precision engraver. I'll be able to engrave more than just my jewelry. I may even engrave my tools. See what the, some people use it for. And you know me, I don't spend too much on anything, so. And then they suggested that I get a template. Don't know that I'll ever use the big ones. I don't know how long these will last. They look like they're thick enough that they're below the point, diamond point. And so we'll see. I'll practice some. I think that's the smallest lettering. That's a little bit bigger than what I wanted to do, but it'll show up. Yeah, it's too big for these. But I do have a stamp, and these are not that worked hardened. So how many do you get in here? You get one, two, three, four, all different sizes. Way too big. I could use those for house numbers on the house. I got one more thing. It's going to be a short video because uh, this will probably be a clip that I'll add, end, add to the end of my next video that I'll... Uh, produce an eye movie because I uh, got my last resale items of the year in the mail also today so I don't feel too lonely but I used a Paul Peen hammer, the round end, to do this. And everybody liked it. But I thought, well, you got to come up with some new ideas. And this was not that expensive. It's got interchangeable heads on it for different looks. So I do have a big piece of sheet copper. We'll be working on it. And I believe the way this works, I don't know if they screw on there or if they're magnetic. I guess I could read the instructions, huh? Designs are endless using our multi-face texturing hammer. Use any of the easy-to-change nine interchangeable faces to create a custom look that is all your own. Set includes nine stainless steel textured heads. Always wear safety glasses. I wonder if there's a warning on this engraver. Please don't cut your hand. Uh, for glass, metal, plastic, ceramic, and wood. It's in French. It's in Mexican. South American. Spanish? No. It's not true Spanish. Because when I went to Spain, they thought I was from Mexico. Because I talked with a slang. It's got a replaceable bin. bit <laughs> okay folks I gotta run over and support Elizabeth K she's gonna be on steals and deals so I'm gonna post this and then I'll fix it up later 
first week in December. Oh, by the way, the news is, uh, if you look in the uh, southwestern sky up to an hour after sunset, you will see uh, Jupiter and Saturn converging. Last time was 800 years ago. And it'll be called the Christmas star on December 31st because it'll look so close that from the Earth it'll look like one big bright planet. But right now you can see them converging. So I thought that was a bit of interesting news. All right.